Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. We have a Sony Walkman, but a CD Walkman of all things, but it does have damage. You can see it right there. It's got a poorly hinge. So I'm hoping to repair this hinge, and uh, I'm hoping, ooh, there's a ribbon there. I'm hoping to not have to do it over elaborate teardown but I think I think we're going to take a little look under the covers seeing as Sony has done such a nice job of marking where all the little screw holes are it's got little arrows pointing to them let's see if there's any in the battery bay and there's none in the battery bay so I am encouraged to do this now I will be doing a video in the not too distant future with all those Walkmans, because look, I got a pack of belts, all the tape drive belts, so we're going to go through them and clean them up. I think every one, if not most of them, have uh, some sort of damage to them. And when I say Walkmans, I say, I'm say i going to say portable cassette players, because not all of them are Walkman brand, which I think is a Sony, is definitely a Sony brand. But that would be nice. I just wanted to make sure I had the belts to start with, because the chances are... Once you get under the hood, if you discover that it does need a belt, oh, you're not going to want to have to take it, you know, take them apart again because some of those things have just so many little teeny teeny parts. And the worst thing you can do is leave something dismantled and put it on a shelf. And after a while, you lose interest in it, and then that thing just goes in the bin. <laughs> I don't want these to go in the bin. I want them to live. Right, so I've got the screws out. Just having a play here. Excuse the background noise, my PC's being very uncooperative. There's a, a problem with the video card drivers, and uh, that's causing it to uh, run the video on the CPU. Oh, sorry, there's G protection in there. I wonder what that is. So much cool stuff here. Um, I've never used this, by the way. This is uh, it was given to me, so I want to try this out. Um, so what's happening is the PC is, is struggling, so it's doing a lot of uh, using the fans and making a lot of noise. Right, so we've got the shell cracked here. Again, being a bit ginger. But it is nice. Look, it looks like the mechanism does just flop out the bottom. So if we can figure out how it's inged at the back, I think we'll be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. What was that from? I think there was a movie where somebody was uh, chanting that. Right, I'm going to have a little feel around with my little teeny teeny screwdriver. If we're lucky, there'll be some little plastic tabs. Oh, oh, don't break. Please don't break. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood to glue something I don't need to glue. <laughs> Hello. I'm pretty confident we're going to need to glue at least one hinge. Ah, look, I can see that there's a tag in here. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Let me just put a bit of pressure. Oh! Uh-oh, something's fallen out. Could be part of our hinge. No, actually, I think it's part of something else, worryingly. Hoo, 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 hoo. Look at that. Right, I'm just going to give it a little shake. everything separated so it looks like it's had a drop at some point because there's a definitely a little piece of plastic there and there's our hinge mechanism so we're going to probably try gluing that back on um the floating carriage here that looks good that's all it's amazing isn't it really it's nice and simple just a simple piece of plastic there we'll zoom in in a moment don't worry if you're squinting at your screen i'll zoom in so i want to i want to have a little closer look and actually while we're at it why don't i see I can pop here. Ah, damn it, I lost a spring. I've got the screen off. I didn't manage to release the catch there. I'll figure out how this strain relief works. We're gonna have trouble getting, oh, there we go. So there, that's the strain relief for the little cable. We'll get that in. Now there was a spring here. I might have to review our video, but I think it was here. And it's it's all to do with that mashed um, hinge, isn't it? That part that's destroyed all the plastic. It's all part of that. So that's going to be a pain in the bum to fix. But, you know, let's look at this, the rest of it anyway. So you've got a nice little, I think that's an on-off switch there. You've got some push buttons. Which I 
think, oh yep, yeah, they're from the front cover here. They're just pushed in there, so that's your volume or something. Um, your headphones with its fancy Sony digital interface, and then you've got something else, which is what, an audio out? And then a power. One of Sony's crazy power connectors. And this G-Shock thing in there, I don't know what that does, if it in, you know, has some sort of buffer or memory on there. And then just pretty much standard, standard fare of a sort of CD drive thing. Now the weird thing is with Sony, they used to make cool stuff, didn't they? They used to be a really interesting company, pioneering making tellies and consumer electronics and they were a real name, but it's weird, isn't it, how nobody uh, really makes anything interesting anymore. It's a shame, isn't it? It's a dead shame. It's a dead old shame. Right. Let's have a look at think that how are we going to even approach, even consider approaching fixing this. And actually, I've got this little, little Ziploc bag. Why don't we chuck in our screws? That's unusual of me to take that level of care. Right. So... <laughs> We can see from here though, this is an ABS plastic. So that does mean, if we're careful, we might be able to bond it using, uh, and this is ABS as well, says it right there, um, using, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Blummy hell, I'll think about it in a minute. The same <laughs> main ingredient in nail varnish remover, which I have a lot of here. Um, I want to say acetylene, but it's not. It's uh, whatever it is. We'll figure it out. If we can figure out how these pieces may fit together, that's that's the key. So we've got our hinge, and that's going to go on there. So if we can actually, we might as well just separate these now because they'll be easy to separate. Be a bit cautious. We don't want to snap off the other hinge on the other side. That would be bad. In fact, we've got a ribbon cable. Just gently stuck on. I will release you from your duties. There we go. So the first things first is just to repair that one. That's quite a simple one. And I've not had massive luck with repairing things like this because uh, as you can imagine it's, uh, it's a lot of pressure on something like that but I'm gonna I'll definitely try I'll go get the, the that, that chemical that I mentioned earlier and we'll have a go at sticking that on that's fine but let's that's gonna be dealt with and then just let's have a quick look at this because we did drop this bit out here which I believe was that away in there and that's just a catch we might decide if we uh, want to just leave that off it might be safer just to leave off that spring you know that's the spring that affects the uh, the shutting of the door but it's going to put too much pressure on everything you can see that's another part of it i mean it's the sort of thing you might keep in a little baggie or something and keep it in there for some sort of future future fixer who wants to come in and really have a go at that but i'm not sure it's just if there's value in trying um this is interesting there, there's a little screw just there but by my index finger. Um, clearly put in there to just take some wear off something. Yeah, we might leave that off, let's not worry about that. Okay, let's meet back here with some chemicals. Whew, it stinks, but there you go, that is my poo -hoo -hoo acetone. That was what I wanted to say by the way, acetone. We're going to get some ass e-tone action going on here. Let's clear the decks. And make sure, of course, that we put this the right way around. <laughs> so I'm really just gonna take a little brush, dip it in my acetone, Put a touch there, put a touch there. And I'm going to just hold it there. And if we're lucky, it's already got like quite a lot of surface tension just holding it. Look, just to show you. See? And what you can do 
if you can find any more ABS plastic, or, you know, you can actually mix ABS plastic and acetone in a little pot, like a resin almost, and then just brush it on. And that should give it a little bit more strength. But let's let that dry, and we'll come back and see what we're going to do with it, if we're going to give it any more attention. So I've just uh, put a bit of epoxy on that thing to try to repair it. There's really not material left to do it, but I thought yeah, I'll just put a smear. A smear is all I've got of epoxy left on here. Let's get that surface tarnish off. Just get that smear of epoxy on there because it just might give me something to purchase to on an, if, if this breaks again. Just get it in there on that hinge. Forever hinge. Don't really want to have to 3D print something, like a 3D printed hinge for this. Yeah, it's, it's always an option nowadays though. Just gonna my precious tweezers. I just need I need that sensitive touch. Ooh, that's nice. Right, let's just l sit back now, let all this lot cure. Let's see what the heck will happen. Hopefully it will fit back again. But no guarantees, of course. Probably could do with wiping that so the CD uh, mechanism will go back in. There, right. Ah, it's the day after. Sorry, I'm just having a coffee. Mm. Just got back from my back-breaking exercises. Just had a little test, so the hingy clip thing does fit back on, and it's not too bad. I had to sort of make this part here where the spring goes, because there wasn't enough bits left, so I've just poxied that up. Just trying to figure out, though, how to get this spring back in. I can certainly see that it probably wants to go in that way, maybe. I'm going to admit it, I'm not happy with the spring. It's just putting stress on stuff. And I think, to be honest with you, it's not really going to help. I'd rather have a working Walkman that we have to open the door than have it spring open slightly. So if anyone's concerned, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spring and I'm going to wrap it in a teeny tiny bit of insulating tape and I'm going to leave it in here so that future generations, if they so wish, look, there's loads of, ah, put that in there. There's loads of bits of plastic and metal here lying around. Let's not, let's not worry about those. Sometimes you just, you know, it's got to be fixed, but not fixed. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Fixed enough. So there's the spring wrapped in the insulation and I'm going to pop it, see if it fits maybe here. When we put the lid on, I'm hoping it will fit there. Perch, purchase some grip on something and stay there. So let's just get that back on. Do, 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 do. I've got to clean these blimmin' things. Whittling down your tweezers as you do. So many burpees. Do you do burpees? How many burpees do you do? Crikey, it was so many. I think I'm gonna. I'm all burpeed out. But something that was weird. I read something in the paper. I say read it. I just read the headline on the internet. Um, and it was saying that people who can do what was it? People who can do 40 press-ups are like a billion percent less likely to get cancer or something. There's some sort of statistic going about. So uh, I thought I'd have a go, see what we could do. And uh, yeah, I managed about 20 before. It basically expiring, I'm going to say that. It basically expiring. I won't sugarcoat it. I couldn't do that many. So uh, there's a challenge for you. Probably you youngsters will have no trouble with getting out 40. But we're doing proper press-ups now. Quality press-ups. None of that Mickey Mouse pretend press-ups. I want good form on those. So if you're going to do the challenge, 
make sure you get the form. Now before I put any other bits in, I'm just going to pop that and that in. Some batteries. I just realised though, have I got an actual CD to play? Must have something somewhere. Ooh, AVLS, normal limit. There's a lot of features on this thing, isn't there? Open volume. Where's you, where do you even turn these on? Hmm. Where do you turn these on? Maybe you need a switch. Let's see. Let's get a CD in there and see if that happens. Oh yeah, that's what happens if you don't have the spring. <laughs> Finding a CD these days is so bloody hard. So we're going to try some Tom Lehrer in concert. So I'm going to hold down the play button. Hey! And you heard the beep that time through our pot noodle speakers. So it does look like the screen here has got some corruption, but that just could be the way I plug that ribbon cable in. Now on wings of song, as it were, and try and help you forget. Yeah, it works fine. Your drab, wretched lives. If I... Suffering is here. Life is skittles and life is beer. I think the loveliest time of the year is the spring. I do. No. Oh. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? That works way more robust than I thought. I'm not sure though, would you really want it to beep while you have it in pause though? Oh, didn't like that. That beeping while pause though is particularly annoying. Good, I think that's ready to wrap up really. So that was basically uh, acetone. So if you've got ABS plastic, use acetone to glue it all together. And away you go, what can we say? I think the emission of the spring though is a very good idea. I know it's kind of a bit of a drag because you don't get that nice bounce on the door, but you're gonna put a lot less strain on those old hinges. It does make me wonder though, maybe there's something else that we could use. Um, the type of spring it was, you saw was one of those um, twisty twisty two levery type springs, but maybe we could just shove something else in there that's gonna just open it a little bit. So it won't be totally shut, but won't put as much strain. So that could be a little bit of foam, or maybe we can 3D print something that's a little bit like a miniature scissor lift. So that'll compress. So then it's only gonna need plastic behind it to thrust against. And I think that's gonna be a lot easier on the old Sony disc Discman. I say it's not a Discman though, it's a Walkman. Right, let's have one last look. So there. So the spring was in there, and that's where you had that broken hinge. Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably just leave it. It's fine, isn't it? It's absolutely fine. You're not going to be taking this out running, running about with you, are you? So there. So hopefully that's of some use to you. Whatever you do, though, dispose of it carefully and don't drink it. As ever, thank you for watching.